This is Andy Perora for Boxing News. I'm joined by Bill Haney here in New York. Bill, always a pleasure. How is life treating you? Oh, beautiful, man. Blessed by the best. Praying for the rest, sir. Oh, I'm always loving the start of so interviews, Bill. Um, going to get straight into it. Obviously, we've got Josh Taylor versus Tifimo Lopez this weekend. We've just seen Tifimo Lopez weighing naked. Uh, your thoughts on that? Um, he made the weight, right? And that's all that counts. You know what I mean? we got a fight on our hands. Um, you know, it's, uh, it looks like it's going to be fireworks. Uh, the, uh, the tension <laughs> is still there. It's been there since, I guess, since the first press conference all the way to the weigh-in. So I expect fireworks. I'm sure everybody does with that um, notion, Bill. Um, it's been a very heated build-up. What have you made of some of the comments back and forth? And, and Tiafimo's guy saying he wants to take the life of Josh Taylor. Uh, that's just that's fighter banner. Um, you know, uh, you don't want to you know, weigh in, into it any, with any negative light. Uh, they're doing their best uh, to keep themselves pumped up. They're also doing their best to uh, make the fight as, as attractive to us as consumers and us as fans. Uh, they got me on the plane to come out, and uh, I, I suggested everybody else come out. It's going to be a hell of a fight, man. Is Devin coming out? Uh, no, Devin has a prior engagement um, that, he's, that he's committed to, um, but he sent me. I'm here. Listen, you're here. I'm sure you're seeing this as a scouting mission. A lot of talk about what's next for Devin. Um, before we do come on to that, what do you expect between Josh and Tia Fimo on Saturday night? Uh, you know what? I expect uh, I expect Tio to come out and him to come out. They, they come out slugging. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to ultimately be who catches who. Because I think the Tio is going to put it all on the line. You know, balls to the wall. Who would you rather win? If, you, if your son was to move up next and face the winner of this fight, who would you rather see him face? T. Fimo, when they've had a lot of back and forth over the years, or Josh Taylor, get that British audience involved as well? Well, you know, once uh, Devin is committed to moving up, then there's no favourite uh, for him uh, in the division. You know, um, they all become uh, competitors. Um, you know, I, I don't lean one way or another in terms of which one I want to win. Uh, I lean towards... Uh, Josh, uh, with my intelligence and in saying that he's been in the division uh, the longest. He's a veteran. Um, you know, he's uh, bigger. He's, he's uh, taller, longer. Uh, so I lean, I lean from an intelligence standpoint. But uh, you can't help but, you know, root for uh, Tio and all that he's been through. Uh, you know, and if you're a fight fan, you know, um, rooting for the underdog is something that we as fight fans do. Uh, you see that Devin, who was the favorite in the fight with Lomachenko, uh, became uh, Lomachenko became the fan favorite underdog to pull for. Uh, so, you know, that's something that we love about the sport. But ultimately, uh, the best man will win. And I think that uh, we're, we're, we're winners as fans with this fight between uh, Taylor and Lopez. What did you make of Josh on the scales? Uh, you can't really make anything of the, of the scales uh, outside of, uh, I think, that there was T.O.'s second attempt, uh, you know, at, at it. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, he just made it to 140, so I don't see why he would, wouldn't be making the weight. But, um, you know, like I said, it'll, well, it'll come down to a Saturday night. Well, take me back to May 20th when your son defeated Vasily Lomachenko. Just walk me through his performance. What pleased you the most? What were you not happy with out of his performance? I mean, I was truly happy with Devin. Uh, you know, he walked Lomachenko down from round one to round 12. Mikey, he, uh, from round one to round 12, uh, he dictated. Um, you know, he brought the fight to him as a champion, bringing it to a challenger. Uh, so I was so happy with, with him. Uh, all the jab and grab and clinch and what happened to all that? I don't hear nobody saying nothing. I mean, when did y'all did y'all stop counting the clinches? Mikey, did they stop counting the clinches uh, last Saturday? Huh? Did anybody count the clinches? Well, where's the clinch? Anybody top ranking? Was there a clinch uh, counter? There was a clinch counter there? No clinch counter? No clinch count, okay. All right. Bill, what did you make of, you know, it, was a, it divided opinion as to who fought, who everybody fought won. Some people leaning towards Loma, others your son. What did you make of those who were saying that they thought Vasily Lomachenko had done enough to overcome your son on the night? Like I said, you know, that they, uh, they of course, were pulling for uh, uh, Lomachenko. Um, when Devin walked in the arena, did you hear all the boos when he came in, right? So to say that they were booing and he, he won, I mean, he lost because they were, they were booing, right? They were booing when he came in there. So what made you think that them people were telling the truth? Huh? When have you known a crowd or a person, they're cheering for one guy 
And at the end of it, they just keeping it real. Bill, what is next for Devin? You've got the options at 135. The only chances at 135 and him sticking with his titles there, is it, does he have to be Tank or Shakur? I only think certain in life is death. You know what I mean? So it's a chance that Devin could be at 135. It's a chance that he can go up to 140. I'm not here to make his announcement. He's going to make the announcement. But I am going to tell you he is the baddest guy in boxing, period. He's pound for pound number one to me. Where have talks gotten to in terms of what's next in his career and potential fights? I mean, if there's any indication of what he's been doing, I think he's fought the last six fights have been either champions or former champions, right? So it might be another champion if we keep doing it like we've been doing it, right? So it's just no telling. I mean, I'm, I'm having fun, as you see. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of, you know, handling your questions, and I'm, I'm upbeat, and I'm fun. And, and you know what I mean? I hope you don't or nobody take any offense. Uh, we went over across the pond, not once but twice, uh, for something that, that Lomachenko said that he couldn't do because of the war, obviously. Uh, then we came back and, and uh, defeated, defeated Lomachenko. Not just, not just defeated him um, and outpointed him, but we stepped to him, jabbed him. I mean, we stepped to him and didn't jab him and put that right hand on him. It seems to be that you mentioned champions. Uh, Devin's undisputed at 135, so the only move then for him would be to move up to 140. Am I pushing you there if I say we should expect to see him test the waters at 140 next? No, but you won't expect to get me fired and making an announcement. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I know that this is that he's ready. My guy is ready, 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 ready. One final one. Obviously, after the fight with Lomachenko, we saw Shakur in the ring and your son have a few words exchanged. Just your thoughts on that one and do you think we could see them match off in the near future? I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a great fight. Um, you know, uh, Shakur is a hell of a talent. Um, you know, I don't think that uh, he's Devin at all, you know, but we'll see. Uh, I, you know, we hear a lot of, you know, the media and jumping in the ring. Uh, you know, like Devin always says, you got to put some substance with it and talk to the right people and do the right things and do it the right way and let's make it happen. Well, Bill, I'm going to leave a final word from yourself. Um, anything you'd like to leave on? No, absolutely. Follow Real Devin Haney on all platforms. Bill, thank you. All right, blessings.